Hey guys, Joe Zarger here with Dr. Malone. We're, we thought it was important to get back in touch with you guys on the COVID issue. Uh, obviously, Dr. Malone's here now. We're not doing this Zoom thing anymore. Uh, we're operating with, uh, with, with distancing ideas, with masks. We're not inviting the public in the office. We've got a skeleton crew still. We've got people upstairs and downstairs spaced out. Not spaced out like spaced out like they don't know what they're doing, but spaced out as in physically spaced out. <laughs> but, uh, you know, people are working in offices um, with doors and some with just partitions, but we're, we're not, since we don't have everybody here, we're not all on top of each other. However, I have been reluctant to do any more videos because I think people are a little bit exhausted with all the other stuff going on in the world, um, uh, important stuff going on in the world that we should be paying a lot of attention to. Um, I didn't want to forget COVID either. Um, and the reason I didn't want to forget it is that I've been watching, with Dr. Malone, been watching these graphs every day. And today, we'll put this graph up later, but today he showed me this graph that we've shown y'all numerous times uh, from the, this is the state, right? Uh, this is the county right here. This, okay. is, this is the state's dashboard, yeah. State's but dashboard, but Escambia County's pulled up. And you don't have to be a rocket scientist or even a, a statistician, um, it looks like the video feed went down, um, to know what these graphs say. But basically, the graphs are showing that our um, number of cases uh, for the last three days, days on average, seems to be higher than it's ever been. And that would include in the middle of this where we were... Um, Every, we got the most uh, in one day that was diagnosed, which was May the 12th or so. Yeah, there I were 15 cases diagnosed that day. Well, th and I think May 1st there was like 40. Okay. Uh, th that was like the highest one. The, the dates don't range about that far back on there. But, yeah, we, we definitely got a little spike here at the end of May. So this was alarming in the sense that – are we – is the video feed working? Um, I'm, I'm, I know the audio is working, but I'm not sure the video is working. Um, So this was alarming to me, the fact that, and again, this graph is, we'll put this graph up later as soon as we get this thing uh, up, to, up, up to speed. But then we looked at the state's numbers, right? I went, I went here and just looked at state's cases, mm -hmm. Florida cases. And then I was hoping to see this downturn, which the deaths is going down, right? As of June 1st, it seems to be going down. And this is the, we'll, we'll show you this, we'll show this to you online too. But basically, um, the deaths um, are going down, as this bottom chart shows over here in the gray. But the number of cases diagnosed, the yellow, is going up. In fact, June 1st, in the state of Florida, there were more cases diagnosed than ever before. Yeah, 1,200. I'm concerned. When you look at the graph, though, I just looked at it. It's higher. The bar is higher. And, of course, the state's trying to make this look good, I guess, in a way. But... It's higher than all other days combined. Not combined, but all other days on any one day. So that concerns me. Even you can have deaths going down, mm -hmm. which don't reflect. That's a three-week, you know, you can get the virus on day one, mm -hmm. not have any symptoms for three weeks, and then have symptoms that kill you for weeks, right? Yeah. So this doesn't necessarily, the number of deaths per day doesn't necessarily tell you what's happening with the virus then and there, right? Correct. This concerns me for that reason, and I, and I just feel like we need to be paying attention to this. I feel like we should be paying attention to everything else that's going on in the world, too. Um, the all the issues with, the, uh, with um, uh, the police misconduct, excessive force, those are near and dear to our hearts here at the firm. We, we handle those cases from time to time, and we all know how important that stuff is, and you should be paying close attention to that. But... Uh, but, I, you know, the protests that, that I've seen on, uh, on TV and the ones that I've been to here in town, people have been, some people have been aware of the virus with the mask and stuff, but I think you need to continue to do that because these numbers are, are a little bit alarming to mm -hmm. me. Yeah, and then the other alarming number we saw was that uh, the youngest death in Escambia County was a 41-year-old that was reported. Yeah, that came out today too. 
Yeah, uh, we don't have any other information about that uh, individual. Right, right, which is scary too. Uh, you know, I assume that person had some comorbidities or some risk factors, but you don't know. We don't know the answer to that question yet. Yeah. And um, uh, so anyway, I, I felt like it's important for us to share this with you. Hopefully, we'll get this video all the way up online if it's not live, and we will uh, uh, happy to answer any questions at eight five five Hire Joe. You can find us on the web at georgialaw.com or email us at info at Thank you all very much. Be safe.